guys, and welcome to this 22 minute dumbbell sculpting workout. We've got an amazing workout that's going to challenge your entire body with lots of cool compound movements. So we're always working lots of different muscles at the same time. Now I have seven different movements to complete the circuit. We're going to be doing 50 seconds on each move with a 10 second rest. We'll have 30 seconds in between each round so you can have a little breather and a little drink of water, whatever you need. So just make sure you have some water, your weights. I'm going to be using some four kilogram dumbbells. So pick a, a set of weights that's appropriate for you and let's get ready to go. Pause the video, do a quick warm up, and we're gonna start with our weights right in front of our thighs, holding onto one end of the dumbbell. Feet underneath your sit bones, and you're gonna soften those knees, hinging forward, tapping those dumbbells to the floor, tap, and a quick squeeze back up. So you have a long spine, flat back, hinging forward, drawing those abs in and up, tapping, and squeezing back up. So it's a slow lower down, pushing that weight through the heels, and then squeezing those glutes, tucking that tailbone under just a tiny little bit at the top. Nice flat back, abs in. So it's all about the quality of the movement here. It's not about how many reps we can necessarily get in. It's about good form and good technique. So you've got 10 seconds to rest. Our next exercise is a lateral, a reverse lunge and a lateral raise. So if you stand at the back of your mat, step one foot back into reverse lunge, step forward, and then a lateral raise, arms reach out to the side. Step the other foot back, reverse lunge, step together, lateral raise. Now you wanna make sure that you have two 90 degree angles through the backs of those knees on your lunge and arms only lift up to shoulder height on that lateral raise. Drive on out of that front heel. Good, and you have 10 seconds to rest and just trans transition into your sumo squat with a bicep curl. You can do this from with one weight or two, with two weights. Your arms are right in front of your hips. Take that nice deep sumo squat, bicep curl, and drive out of it. Drop it down, bicep curl, drive out of it. If you want to use one weight, you just hold it here, drop it down, bicep curl. So you can always modify if you need to, if that's too much. So we really wanna get deep into that sit squat. We lose our momentum when we take that bicep curl, keeping those elbows pinned to your waistline, and then really having to drive out of those heels using your glutes, inner and outer thighs to get yourself back up. All right, drop one weight down, and now we're going into an alternating curtsy and halo. So start with a slight turnout in your legs. Step one foot back, curtsy. Step out and circle the weight overhead. Step the other foot back to your curtsy. Step up and halo that weight around your head. Make sure that you keep the chest lifted on those curtsies. Slight turnout through those hips. So we really work into some different muscles here, into those inner and outer thighs, into the shoulders here. Abs are switched on to stabilize you so you don't fall over. They are always working. Good. Our next exercise is a devil's press. Weights will come on either side of your chest. So from here, you're going to drop out into a high plank, lower it down, come up, jump in, swing those weights through those thighs, and a dynamic shoulder press up at the top. Drop it down. Chest to floor, like a burpee, jump it in, swing those weights, 
and quick overhead press. So this is a nice dynamic movement. It's gonna help you to get the heart rate up. And that's what helps to make this workout really metabolic. Now, if you are struggling because this is too um, high intensity, you could drop it down into a thruster to squat and press. So you can always modify if that was too much for you. Good job, guys. Good, take your breather. Bring those weights back to where they were and come back to your high plank. Now we have a renegade row, one elbow up, and then we have a, a rotation for a twist. So other arm, one elbow up, and then one full twist. On that renegade row, keep those hips facing the floor and then allow your hips to twist as you reach that way up to the ceiling. If your weights are too heavy, just stick with the renegade row. Keep drawing those abs in and up. Good. So now you're gonna flip it around. We're gonna do a glute bridge and a chest fly. So let's set it up. Lifting those hips up, arms up over your chest. Open it out and in, tap those hips down and back up. Out and in with those arms, hips go down and up. Keep driving through those heels, lift those glutes as high as you can. Keep a soft bend in the elbows as you open your arms out to the side, really trying to squeeze into your chest. This one is great for your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back, your chest muscles. Good, hips down, bring it in, roll it up. So you have 30 second breathers. That's the first uh, seven minute circuit done. We're going to repeat it two more times. So now you know all your movements. We're just gonna really go for it, really perfect that technique, get stronger each time. So we're off again in 10 seconds, pick up those weights. We're starting again with that suitcase deadlift. Feet just a little bit wider than sit bones, holding onto one end of the dumbbell, hinging forward at the hips, tapping those dumbbells down, and quick up. Lift the chest, draw those abs in up, tap, and quick up. Lower it down, tap those dumbbells and lift. Good, so you'll get a nice stretch to the back of the hamstrings. And you'll feel this one a little bit more the next day than when you're doing it right now. Good. Take your 10 second breather and then we're gonna go into our reverse lunge and lateral raise. Come to the top of your mat, step one foot back, drop it down to that lunge, come up, arms out to the side, and then change other leg, keep alternating for the lunge. heavier your weight, the more challenging it is. Do what you can if you need to stop and have a breather. Stop and have a breather and bring it back in. If it feels too easy, your weights are probably too light. We want to focus on the control here, the precision of each movement. We're hitting each move and there's no wiggle wobbles in between. Core is braced. Good. All right, 
Next one is that sumo squat and bicep curl. For me, this is the toughest one. Be nice and wide. Drop it down. Give me one bicep curl and drive out of it. So you're getting so low that you almost get stuck. Keep that chest lifted. You got this. Keep those elbows tight to your sides. Really engage those biceps. Get those weights right up to your shoulders. Give me that strong push out. Good. Drop one of your weights down. We're gonna go into that alternating curtsy with the overhead halo. Feet in a slight turnout. Step one foot back, come up, halo it around overhead. Make sure you get nice and deep on this curtsy. Almost getting that back knee to the floor. Good, and rest. Let's get the other dumbbell, get it ready for your devil's press. Weights are just outside those shoulders. Hit it up in that high plank, chest to floor. Jump it in, swing, dynamic overhead press. Swing it down and drop it down with lots of control. Come on guys, big push here. Let's get those heart rates up. Take it to that fat burning zone. Good job, bring those weights back down and let's reset it for your renegade row. Feet nice and wide. One elbow up, hips stay level, and then take a rotation. The same arm goes back up, then you change sides. Renegade row, and then add the rotation. If the weights are too heavy, omit the rotation, or take the row and rotate without the dumbbell. So always keep it safe for your shoulders. This one is amazing for your back, your obliques, your core, your spine. Good. Knees down, flip onto your back. We're setting it up with your glute bridge and chest press. Final exercise in this circuit. Let's go for it. Hips up, arms up. Chest fly. Tap the hips, chest fly, hips drop down and up. Slow your breath down, control that movement. Come on, you guys. Last final push here. Work for that 30 second recovery. Good job, and rest. 
All right, 30 seconds to grab a quick drink if you need it. And we're gonna set it up for our final round. Now I want you to know what exercise you find the most challenging. I want you to comment in the box below. Let me know what exercise you thought was the most challenging today. I'll tell you again, mine is the sumo squat with the bicep curl. All right, guys, let's get those weights up. Hold on to one end of the dumbbell. Set up for that suitcase deadlift. You know it's coming. And feet a little bit wider than hip distance. Keep those knees soft as you hinge forward. Tap and quick squeeze up. Tap it down. Quick squeeze up. Keep that back nice and flat. Chest lifted. Good job. All right, guys. It's one of those exercises you feel like you could do for five minutes straight, but you will feel it tomorrow. Good, 10 second rest. And we're gonna set it up into that reverse lunge and lateral raise. In three, two, and one. Step back, in, lift those arms out to the side. Step back, and in, arms reach out to the side. Make sure those weights don't go higher than your shoulders. Shoulder height is fine. All right, guys, last few reps. Fantastic. All right, my favorite exercise, most challenging one, sumo squat and bicep curl. Feet nice and wide. Let's do this. Come on, I am with you the whole way. get deeper in that squat. Use that exhale to get you out of those tough spots, yeah? Even if you're only halfway, that's fine. Hit a position that you feel good with. We did it. All right, curtsy to halo, one weight. Let's go for it. Keeping that turn out through those hips. So you can really work into the inner and outer thighs. Just keep the chest lifted as you step back. And enjoy that halo as you mobilize into your shoulders. Enjoy that nice circle overhead. Awesome. Let's set it up for that devil's press. Remember, if for any reason you can't do this, this high intensity movement, take it to a thruster. All right, guys, drop it down, high plank, chest to floor. Jump in, swing and press it up. Control it on that way down as well. So let's kind of go for it. You wanna go as quickly as you can while maintaining the integrity of the movement to make sure it doesn't get away from you. Lots of control. Okay. 
Now when you take that overhead press, try to get those biceps up to your ears. Make it explosive here. Woo. And rest. All right, your weights stay where they are. You come to a high plank for that renegade row. Feet wide. One row, one rotation. One row, keep those hips level. Then you can twist those hips on the rotation. Remember if you need to, get rid of the weight, you can. This third round starts to get a little harder. Keep those abs tight, pull them in and up. Work that core. The core is disguised in this entire workout. No specific dedicated core movements. This is the main one here. The rest is all stability. So make sure you're thinking about it now as you're in that plank. Good. Lower it down, flip it around. Let's come into that glute bridge. Your final move here. Arms reach up. Take that fly, tap those hips down and up. Fly, tap your hips. All right, guys, take it away now. Focus on that breath. Can you challenge yourself to take those arms a little lower? To lift those hips a little higher. This is your final push. Make this last 50 seconds matter the most. Come on, give it all you got. Good, lower those hips and release. Roll it all the way up and pop those weights aside. Now, as I said, there was no dedicated core movement today. It was also disguised with the other movements because they're big compound movements. So if this is not for you today, you leave it here. If you want more, do one of my eight minute abs workouts. You'll get that great tight core feeling if you complete one of those as well straight away before you have a stretch. Now, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification button so you never miss my weekly workouts every single Monday. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you like this workout and want full length workouts where you don't have to guess what's coming next, I will take you through a warm up, the workout, a core, a stretch, everything. They are 30 to 45 minutes long. Join me on Patreon and help support my channel. And thanks so much for training with me and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye guys.